three simple steps. Open effects and from titles add text plus to your timeline above your car clip. Thread it so it is the same length. Select ROG fonts as a font. Increase tracking a little to add some spacing. Write any number as your speed. To make the hologram more realistic, you can add some cuts with different numbers so it looks like the car is slowing down or speeding up. You can copy mine if you want to. Duplicate text plus to keep the settings and delete the numbers. Stretch it to match the length. Write miles per hour, kilometers per hour or anything you'd like. Go to settings and set zoom to 0.27. Change the position x value so it's near the numbers on the right. Select both text plus tracks and create a compound clip. You can make the hologram even more realistic with a subtle effect. Go to effects and from resolve effects add scan lines. Add a keyframe at the start and increase line frequency to around 9. Keyframe line angle, line shift and set them to the lowest amount. Now move forward by a second or so and increase frequency to around 15. Line angle and line shift to the max. Another second later set everything as it was before again and keep doing this until the end. When you're done, set line sharpness to around 0.65 and composite type to difference. Select all the remaining clips and create a fusion clip. Open fusion. Rename the nodes to know which clips are where and clean up a little. We want the hologram to move together with the rest of the car interior, but not the outside. Select car node and add a tracker node. Go to frame 0 and find an object inside the car which can be tracked. The more contrast it has, the better. I had no such options, but this phone holder suited me just fine. Track the movement. The window needs to move smoothly. It might not track perfectly at first, but you can tweak it as much as you need. This worked for me after a few tries on a dark clip. To make hologram align with the windshield instead of just hanging straight in the air, select animation node and add DVE. Connect it to the merge node. You can set the desired position on the windshield using center X and Y values. And depending on the position, set X, Y and Z values. To add some transparency, add brightness contrast node, select alpha and lower the gain. To make it glow like a hologram, add a drop shadow node. Increase shadow strength to the max. Adjust drop angle and drop distance to put a shadow under the numbers. Set the color to very light blue. I use this color. Add soft glow node, increase the gain to around 2.4, increase glow size to around 32, delete the merge node and connect soft glow node to the green arrow of the tracker node. To make the hologram stick to the windshield, go to the tracker, operation, set operation to match move and set merge to foreground over background. Leave a like and subscribe because we ain't done yet and it would mean a lot to me. Please.